Hi everyone for part three of our week 10 ELP kindergarten um, patriotic Henry Matisse inspired cutout artwork. I was working on getting some different pieces of um, blue and red paper cut out. So we're going to continue that now. Okay. So I, I was cutting out some wavy lines with my blue paper. I could choose to um, cut out maybe zigzag, so I go back and forth this way. Again, if you need to, you can always draw them first. I would use a pencil. I'm using a marker right now just because you can see that better with the camera. And then my last paper is yellow. The reason why I chose yellow is because it kind of reminds me of sometimes fireworks that you might see on uh, Memorial Day, but also stars. So what you could do to draw a star, there's a couple choices. One choice would be just to cut out. So I'm gonna cut out a curve line here. And then I'm gonna cut out a star shape by cutting out kind of little triangles from it. Like this, it's not going to be a perfect looking star, but it's going to be kind of one that maybe you would see if there was a firework or something like that. And I'm being careful about using the scissors, making sure I keep my hand on the sidewalk. So there's one example, okay? If And again, if some of the paper, if you're not saving it, make sure you put it in your nice neat pile and you're being responsible and you're cleaning up your workspace. Okay, another choice would be to draw it. One way to draw a star if you feel like you um, wanted to draw a star, you could draw a star on the back. So I'm gonna draw it actually in, let's see, I'll use a light, I'll use yellow on the back. Let me see if it looks like you can see it on the screen. Okay, I think you'll be able to see it. So I'm just gonna do a T like that, and then an X through the T, okay, to make a star shape. Then when I go to cut it out, I'll cut around this first to so that space out. Then what I'll do is I'll just cut out around each line I made like this. To kind of make a twinkling star shape that maybe you would see in the sky. Remember, if I'm ever going too fast, you can always hit the pause button and replay something that I did. Okay, make sure that you see that. Okay, so that's another way, and then you can turn it over and it will be yellow star. Okay. Another choice for the stars. If you wanted to try to draw a star, I'm going to draw it on the back of this paper again. This is another way to draw a star. Draw the top of a letter A like this, okay? Then you'll take your line, you'll start at the bottom of the letter A and bring a diagonal line up through the center of this line that's across from it like this, okay? Then bring it across the top and then back down to the other corner, okay? That's one way. I'll try it again, okay? Like this. And then a different way I was thinking you could try that may be a little easier is if you put a line across like this and then from the bottom of the A, bring it up to the corner, up to the corner. That's another way, okay? I'll go a little faster this time. Up, down, it's so like the letter A, diagonal across the center, across the top, back down, okay? If that was not working for you, I'm gonna go really slow one more time, okay? So, like the top of a letter A, uppercase A. Then I'm going to bring a line from the bottom of the A, diagonal up through the center, 
then bottom of the A, diagonal up through the center of the other side. And then you can connect them like this. Those are four different ways to draw a star. So once you've drawn those, I would draw them on the back unless you want to see the drawing on the front. If you want to see the drawing on the front, then you can draw on the front. That's your choice. I, I kind of don't want to see where I actually drew it. So I'm going to cut them out first. Get all the extra paper off the sides. Then I will cut out in between my stars. Making sure thumb is in the small hole, fingers are in the big hole of the scissors, and we're using scissor safety. We're watching what we're doing. Our hands are on the side. We are not out of our seats with scissors in our hands. Our scissors are over the, over the table. And we make sure we don't put them anywhere other than on our paper. It's part of using scissor safety and keeping that other hand on the sidewalk. Last one and two more. Park my scissors. I'm going to clean up my space. Make my nice neat pile of scrap paper that I'm not using. So now I'm going to find a background paper. I'm going to put that down. And then I'm going to start creating my abstract patriotic cutout artwork inspired by Henry Matisse. So I'm going to get my glue. I'm going to open my glue top. Take any dry glue off the top if needed. And then I'm going to start arranging my lines how I would like them to look. If I want them to be horizontal, then they can go this way. If they're too long, then I may cut them. So I think I'm gonna have a couple, let's see. I think I will have them going this way. Some red lines like this, kind of like the flag. But I think I'll have one of these big red lines going across the bottom too. This does not have to be realistic like a real flag. This can be abstract because I even have my swirl over here. Okay. So I'm going to have one more long curved line this way. Okay, so I like that so far. So I'm going to go ahead and use my dots, not lots. Just little dots is all you need for paper. And then I think I'm going to find this red swirl. I like that red swirl, but I'm not sure where I want to use that yet. I think I'm going to put it here, but I want to add some blue first. So before I add that, I'm going to add some of these cool blue stripes that I made too. I think I like this one up here, but maybe diagonal. Okay. I'm gonna add my red swirl in a moment, but I'm going to add a few more of these neat blue lines that I made. I think I'm gonna make this one diagonal as well. Dots, not lots. And then my red swirl. Right here. And then I'm going to add some of the yellow stars that I made around it. 
If you prefer to show the side that you drew, you could. I would like the side that I added yellow to first. I'm just going to put them around the page in an abstract way. Okay, so that's about done. Okay, so now we have our Henry Matisse cutout inspired patriotic artwork. So this is my finished one. I would love to see what you create. If you do create artwork based on this lesson, please have your parent or guardian email me and I would love to see your work. Okay, bye everyone.